1.5 kind of see uh, 1.5 and I'm using this thread you can use any other thread if you want to but you have to measure your head when while you're doing this because any different traits can do and then any needles will do so it fit to it mm -hmm. just measure your head for your collar we are going to do we are going to do is the neck part the neck part we're just going to do this is the knot Consider one, two, three. Really. Okay. This one you measure, keep doing until you measure your head around and make it even number. I did this 48 of this. So if I divide by 4, because I'm making this next square, if I divide by 4, it's going to be 12 each, each side so to make sure when you do a slip stitch make sure they are all in correct facing when you do a slip stitch if not it, it will be all twisted keep turning turn This will be this corner, one corner there. So if you count 12, you want to put the marker, you put marker then. This gives you some idea of it, of this, uh, this crochet I'm doing, on uh, this uh, neck part. It's going to be a V-shaped neck. exactly the head fit and then after that I add extra of this bubbles hmm? bubble of three then so I can my head can go through properly easily so now this one you see I marked it ready so it's 12 12 12 and 12 so it's a square square uh, collar mm, like that now what I'm going to do is do a slip chain do a slip chain in the middle it's like that and then one two three and do DC DC and then 
one chain go for the next and do DC two DC's on that and then do this until to your marker do one chain again and then go do DC2 here now we come to this marker already this one corner now one corner now and we are going to do here already got two so put in extra some more DC So three chain and go to the next one here three also DC and it will look like a square it will show the pointed corner so now one chain and go to normal again two DC's and keep going to the next corner and one chain keep going to the next corner here see that I did this corner already also the same pattern as the corner corner comes there so when you do the um, slip stitch here, I didn't do yet. Then didn't do yet. Do the pattern here. Make it three. The ending one. Eh? There. Count to three. And then DC here because here only got two. And do the slip stitch here and do one chain and do a slip stitch here and then three chain consider as DC this one and one DC continue one chain continue and we will keep this one I think we'll do only two of it and then the next one will be a different pattern and let me think about it <laughs> come to this corner I will tell you what to do I have to experiment first now we come to this corner already I did some experimenting I think I've, I feel this is better so it's much easier put three DC's on the same hole mm -hmm. and then do three chain and then three DC's chain two DC's keep going the same one hmm? I uh, I got this color it was on sale and I kept it for so long I didn't do anything and I think I better start doing something so it will fin not be stuck in my closet Okay, we come to this end already. And looking at the square. Now, and it's going to be like that, huh? So it's going to be a V-shaped neck, huh? 
so and do one chain slip do the slip stitch then one chain and do the slip stitch here one chain and do single crochet I'm changing the pattern five chain one two three four five and next one single chain and uh, single crochet keep going one two three four five and single crochet till the end here let me experiment what what will I come up with okay come to this corner already do one single crochet on the th see there's two three isn't it do on the uh, see that so third single crochet and then five chain three four five and on this loop single crochet and then five chain one two three four five single crochet on the dc here so it comes to a corner already do every corner when it comes and and then go back to normal one two three four five and single crochet and one two three four five until the next corner you do this way if you think this color is too small you can make it bigger, make it like 13, 13, 13, uh, uh, the what puffed. Mm -hmm. It says depends on the thread you want to do it. Mm -hmm. So now I come to the end here already. Now we're going to the next lane, next round. Okay, do a chain and then do DC and then do here. Hook it on the uh, what single crochet here one uh, and do DC there. Now one chain and then single crochet, then five chain same pattern I don't like to do the same pattern the whole thing because I get fed up look for the patterns then I'll change the pattern and it would look nice mm. so this is the nav one pattern this is the next pattern I'm doing so keep going until this corner here I'll tell you what to do so this lane ready now we come to this corner we do seven chain one two three four five six seven and then single crochet here and then go back to normal five chain one two three four five single crochet and then we come to the next corner do the same thing as seven chain come to the end ready and then my corner all coming on nicely you see hmm. so you want to change color uh, i mean if you use a different color you, you can use it don't have to be same color as mine okay now two chain and DC on this on this one and 
then one chain single crochet and then same pattern we could do same pattern as this and then the corner one I'll tell you what to do now you come to this corner already now we do five chain two three four five and here and a single crochet five one two three four five and go on the same single crochet and then go one two three four five like that and then the corner saw will be like this 